Hi, this is Joel Persinger. I'm the Gun Guy. Thank you very much for supporting Gun Guy TV and all the ways that you do that. I really do appreciate it. A couple of quick things. We are no longer prisoners of YouTube. You can find us on all of these platforms as well, so check us out there. I urge you to subscribe to at least one of them in case something happens to us here on YouTube. Likewise, you can listen to the Gun Guy TV audio podcast completely free on any of your favorite podcast players. You'll find it syndicated everywhere. Now, this video is brought to you by Practical Defense Systems. If you're interested in security guard training in the state of California, Practical Defense Systems has the best security guard training at the lowest possible prices. Check out the link in the description. Okay, now I thought I got through all of that. I went out to Yuma to uh, review a few guns, a couple of which were from Rock Island Armory. Now, in case you don't know, I am a big lover of 1911 handguns. Actually, I'm a big lover of guns in general, but I really like 1911s uh, in particular. In fact, to, as evidence of that, this is my 1911. Unfortunately, this is not the Rock Island 1911 because I, can't, I couldn't bring it back to California, and I'm back at my house uh, in San Diego County. I was able to shoot it there, but not bring it back. However, I wanted to show you this gun because I wanted to compare the two and show you some benefits that I found with Rock Island's uh, Rock Ultra CCO that I did not have on this Colt Combat Commander that I bought back in 1978. Now, so that you know, I've carried this gun a lot. I bought it in 1978 for, I think, $186.86 on sale, and uh, it's worth a fortune compared to that now, and I've had a lot of work done to it, and I've carried a lot. In fact, I've carried it off and on for, what is it now, 41 years. Uh, I don't carry it anymore because I have other carry guns, but in carrying it, what I've learned is a few things. One, I really like 1911s. Two, I really like the commander size slide, the little bit shorter slide than the full-size government model for concealed carry. And three, I, as, as much as I like the full-size grip because I'm a fairly big guy, I'm 6'2 and 230 pounds and I've got big hands, the one thing about the big full-size grip is that Sometimes it prints a bit more, and when I sit down in a chair or something, it clunks up against the chair. So it announces itself as being present. So I've often thought that it would be kind of cool to have a little shorter grip. Now, Colt made something called the officer's model, which had a shorter grip and a shorter slide. And while I liked the shorter grip for concealed carry, I did not like the shorter slide. I would think it'd be great to have a, a commander size slide and a little shorter grip and a little lighter pistol. Well, enter the Rock Island Armory Rock Ultra CCO. This pistol is magnificent. It's a very well thought out design. I really like uh, a lot of things about it. Most notably, what I've just described is, is the thought process of making this gun a little bit more concealed carry friendly. With the aluminum frame, it's lighter, and yet it's a joy to shoot. The weight difference does not seem to affect the ability to shoot it well or the, the fact that it's comfortable to shoot. And then with the shorter grip, it just makes it a little bit easier to conceal without worrying about it printing or the grip cr uh, you know, clanging up against chairs when you sit or any of those things. Now, there's some other benefits to the pistol as well. As I look at 1911s, what I've discovered is the price keeps going up and up and up and up, particularly if you want a lot of the goodies that you want to get on a 1911, like a really nice crisp trigger or even an adjustable trigger. If you want to have really good sights, if you'd like to have a full-size guide rod, if you'd like to have you know, nice grips, any of these kind of things generally cost more money. And so when I looked at the, the price that this gun is being sold at, I thought, uh, wow, this has got to be either a really crummy gun or a really good one at a great price. So I'm just going to tell you right now, I said this to my wife uh, earlier this morning as, well, as when I was getting ready to do this video, that if, if it weren't for the fact that I live in California, I'm not sure it's on the California roster. I don't think it is. But if it's on the California roster, I'm going to go buy one. That's how much I really like this gun. And, and if you watch my channel at all, you know me. If I don't like it, I will tell you so. If I find something wrong with it, I will tell you so. Rock Island did not pay me a dime for this review. I'm going to tell you, I liked this gun so much. They sent me a boatload of ammo. I couldn't stop shooting it. I was on the range, and I just thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed firing this gun. There were a few things about it I really liked. I really liked the way the sight stood out to me. There's a fiber optic front sight 
which jumps right out and announces itself. And in any kind of a fighting situation, you want to find that front sight. If you're not point shooting because it's really, really close, then you want to find that front sight somewhere in the back sight and press the trigger for a flash sight picture. And that thing just jumps right out at me so that I could see it, and uh, it just was a joy to shoot as a result. I really liked the, uh, the grip on it, oddly enough. The grip is aggressive. But it's not so aggressive that it's painful. So you can shoot this gun a lot. I fired, I don't know, a couple hundred rounds through it, and it did not eat up or chew up my hand. It was very comfortable, but it's aggressive enough that I know if the gun was wet or if I was in, uh, you know, kind of inclement weather or something or sweaty or whatever, I'm not going to lose the gun. The gun's going to stay with me. So I really, really liked that as well. And frankly, I found that even with a shorter grip, the gun was still a joy to shoot. It's also really accurate. Now, for me right now, I've got a little problem shooting. Uh, uh, handguns because, well, rifles too for that matter, because I need surgery on my right eye and I'm right eye dominant. So I find myself having to squint my right eye in order to shoot until I can get in to have the surgery done so that this eye will actually be functional and I can actually see the sight. So if you see me squinting a little bit and it looks like I'm in pain, I'm not. What you're seeing is me trying to change and shoot left eye when I'm normally a right handed, right eye dominant shooter. There are a couple more just practical things that I really like about this gun. Because keep in mind, this is not a safe queen. This gun is not designed to be something that you're going to you know, take out and show people and say, wow, how beautiful this is. This is a working man's gun designed for a working man or working woman to carry. This is a working person's gun. And that's why it's priced at a working person's price. But it's built really, really, really well. I, I found it incredibly well built. It's uh, It functions very well. And like I said, it's got a lot of the bells and whistles on it. You'd get on a much more expensive firearm, particularly the trigger. The trigger was clean and crisp. It had a real nice crisp reset. Uh, I would say, you know, it's probably set at about four and a half pounds, maybe five pounds. I didn't have a way to measure it at the time, but just from feel, I can tell you it's, uh, it's a really great trigger and it, it comes with a four to six pound trigger in it. So you can, you can make it what you want it to make as far as I can determine. Uh, the other thing I said, like the sights are awesome. The grips are very, very comfortable. I didn't find that they bit into my hand at all. Uh, I found the gun light and easy to shoot. And honestly, really kind of a joy in just about every respect. Now, the other thing that is very practical about this gun from a concealed carry perspective is the parkerized finish. And I, I, I didn't look, but it looks parkerized to me. Uh, so if I'm wrong, uh, Rock Island will have to correct me. But it looks like a parkerized finish to me. And I find that to be very positive for a few reasons. One, that's a very durable finish because the gun's going to experience holster wear. It's going to get bumped up against things and that kind of stuff. But here's the other thing. It's not shiny. As much as I, I love the old uh, Colt, deep blue, beautiful finishes on, like my dad carried a Colt Python uh, for many years as a deputy sheriff. And of course, when I bought this gun, it had the, the beautiful Colt finish on it. It's since been refinished because of all the holster wear, and it's got holster wear again. As you can see, there's lots of holster wear on it. Uh, these guns experience holster wear because they're out in a holster all the time. That's going to happen to them. A parkerized finish is going to hold up very well, but it's also not shiny. I don't like shiny finishes on guns that I carry. Uh, and, you know, for obvious reasons, and if you don't know what those are, then, you know, send me an email or something, I'll explain it to you. Uh, but I really did like the parkerized finish. It's, it looks like a gun that a guy's going to carry or a gal's going to carry and carry a lot. It's going to be very durable and it's going to function when you need it and function very, very well. So I got to tell you, I, I put, I think, 200, 250 rounds through it. Uh, right hand, left hand, right hand, two hand, left hand, two hand. I, I just had a great time with it on the range. And the, the only issue, if I could find an issue with the gun, honestly, as I look at it, is I would very much like to have it in addition to this one so that I've got one a little smaller than the other. That would be a joy to have. That was my one problem with this Rock Ultra CCO is it didn't go home with me. <laughs> Other than that, I can't say anything negative about it. So uh, there you are. There's a review of the Rock, Rock, uh, Rock Ultra CCO, which I'm having trouble saying, obviously, uh, from Rock Island Armory. Terrific gun. Absolutely fabulous. I really enjoyed it, particularly at the price. Check out the price of these things. You'll be amazed. I've got links in the description to the gun. Now, if you're watching on YouTube, I have to put that link in the first comment and pin it to the top. I cannot put it in the link in the description. They don't like that. Uh, so you'll find it there. On the other platforms that we've got, you'll find it every place else. Thank you again for watching. Have a wonderful day. And wherever you do, wherever you go, please be safe.